okay what just showed up here at Bolton Motorcycles this lovely 2020 Honda CRF 1000L Africa Twin one of the best adventure motorcycles out there with some serious off-road capabilities now before I show you my first ride on this bike if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next one and now let's start it up and hear the amazing sound coming from the stock Africa Twin exhaust As you just heard, even with the stock exhaust, it sounds great. Now, being that this model comes with the Honda's DCT, which is the semi-automatic gearbox, you actually have to put the bike in neutral before revving it, otherwise it'll just go. Which is such a strange feeling, actually, for someone like me that has never ridden a DCT bike before. Now as soon as I said on the Africa Twin, I knew the visibility on the go would be amazing thanks to its tall seat height of 870mm, so for someone like me at 6 feet I found it tall, so if you're just under you may find it a little too much, but you do have the option of lowering the seat height just a bit. Other than that the handlebars are nice and wide and the foot controls are pure mids so combine that with this fantastic seat and you can truly ride all day every day especially with the ease of use given the automatic gearbox which is very smooth. Now let me show you a couple of minutes of pure sound on the CRF 1000L Africa Twin. It was so much fun to ride, the engine is really smooth and torquey. The 998cc liquid cooled unit has a super linear power curve claiming 94 brake horsepower at 7500 rpm and 98 newton meters of torque at 6000 rpm. Now to really enjoy it you gotta put it into manual mode and yes there is a plus and minus button on the left side to switch between gears and it's pretty much like using a quick shifter at this point. If you've used one before you'll know what I mean. Handling is superb, the bike weighs 232 kilograms but honestly it doesn't feel heavy at all even at low speed. The set of 21 inches wheels at the front and 18 at the back promote a more off-road focused riding experience so with that in mind you might want to watch out for those tight bends. But don't worry about it too much because the Africa Twin is so confidence inspiring. At the front there's a 41mm upside down fully adjustable Showa fork with a 230mm travel. While at the back there's a fully adjustable Showa monoshock with a 220mm travel. And to finish it up, the brakes bite so well. At the front, there's a set of 310mm dual disc with the four piston calipers. And at the back, a single 256mm disc with two piston calipers. The new throttle by wire not only gives an improved throttle connection that allows you to feel every beat of the engine, it also means there's more rider aids. There's seven stages traction control, engine brake control and three rider modes, tour, urban and gravel. 
There's also a user setting where you can tailor your preferences to suit your writing. I mean, what's not to like, honestly? I think the Africa Twin is one of the best adventure touring bikes out there, and it's now for sale at Bolt Motorcycles at £9,795. Now, before I leave, let me know what you think about this bike in the comments, and if you want to know more about it, I've left a link in the description below. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. Like always, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.